Events are taking place across Ontario to remember our history and work to do better. It needs to be acknowledged what has happened to our people. Systemic racism is real and it started from the days of 1619 when we entered the shores of the Americas and we were scattered throughout that land. The Remember the 400 Foundation held a rally in Nathan Phillips Square where group members also recognized August as Freedom Month. They're looking for more support in their goal of highlighting other historical events that took place during this month, including the first slave ship to dock in Virginia in 1619. CTV's Mike Walker has been following today's events and joins us live from Queen's Park with the latest. Mike. Well, Raheem, this is where today's Emancipation Day march came to an end. Dozens of people took to the streets, not only to commemorate the end of slavery, but also to make a call for action to end systemic racism. More than 100 people marching through the downtown, commemorating the abolition of slavery. But on this Emancipation Day, the chorus to end anti-black racism growing louder. We want to ensure that uh, systemic institutionalized racism in Canada is dismantled so all people can live free. We, m we must use our freedom to ensure our freedom. Demonstrators calling for an anti-systemic racism in policing, the justice system, child welfare, arts, education, and health care. We need to look structurally into the frameworks of discrimination and racism that are impacting us across the board. So it's not that it's everything is just segmented, it's all intertwined. Making several stops, including the Children's Aid Society. We honor our ancestors. We call for action and in front of police headquarters. So the community doesn't want to participate in consultations anymore, no more round tables. The time for action is now. They stopped at Old City Hall for a moment of silence, remembering those who died while fighting for freedom. It's there they were joined by the Remember the 400 Foundation. Remember the 400! The group holding a separate rally at Nathan Phillips Square, unveiling its official flag. The flag is more than just a piece of cloth. It represents our history, the sacrifices of our foreparents who died for our freedom and fought for our justice. And calling for support to have August declared Freedom Month across Canada in recognition of significant historical events regarding slavery. And we have sent petitions to all of the political leaders that they could officially recognize August as Freedom Month because August is where Things started for my people. United in the call to end systemic racism, both groups marching together towards Queen's Park. Demanding that change continues, saying now is the time for action. We have been talking about the problem of racism in Ontario and in Canada for decades. We're still waiting for action. We're still waiting for justice. Emancipation Day is only officially recognized here in Ontario throughout the years. And once again today, there were calls to have this day recognized nationally. Reporting live at Queen's Park, I'm Mike Walker. Raheem, back to you.